Hey guys, my name is Sam Snake, and welcome to Dead Cells. I'm super excited to be playing this one. Uh, I've been playing it in my spare time, a little bit. So we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to, uh, make a new save slot. Just for the now, I'm only gonna do one video on this unless you guys ask for more and want more, because I, something tells me this game goes on for a long time. So I'm going to at least play one video of it, and then you guys just tell me if you want more. This game is basically Castlevania, created by Dimitri. It's from what I could tell. Alright, so you dodge. Okay. Aren't you the headless fellow that's been getting around? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Ah yes, that's right. No tongue. Anyway, it must be strange to be back from the dead. <laughs> Surely you must have noticed. You can no longer die. I don't really understand it. But you're, but you're not the first to find yourself in this situation, if that's what you want to know. <laughs> Alright, uh, I don't like shields. I know, I haven't played a whole lot. These are like keyholes! From the symphony. They're basically just keyholes. And... They're... I love this game, by the way. Ow. I do remember reading a review that said it's the best Castlevania game in years, even though... It's not a Castlevania game at all. It's, it's, it's Metroidvania. Very much so. Now, those blue things you I just picked up, all, you get gold to buy shit, as you do. The blue things are cells, and you use those for permanent upgrades that stick in between uh, runs. Like, when you die, you start over. And the map, see, like, if you look at the bottom right, it's a Castlevania-style map. That, it's randomly generated every death. But your upgrades stick, and I don't know much past that. I've only played through, like, four deaths. Ow! Okay, so, I have the stats on my other one, and the only thing that's ever killed me are grenaders. Grenaders, rather. I always say grenade wrong. I always say grenade. I even spelled it wrong, uh, in a few video titles, but then I was corrected by Dimitri, I believe. That was a while ago. See, now these are like big chunky things for for gold. This game is amazing. Now look, if you wanted to teleport, you just go back to another control. Now I'm back here. But of course I'm going to go back up this way. Oh wait, no, there's actually a way to go up. I don't like to move on. Oh, these? You can tickle the slime. Now, there are runes that you can get that make certain things happen. In my other playthrough, on my own, the rune that I got... Ooh, a treasure chest. The rune that I got... I don't know what that does, I didn't read it. The rune that I got on the last one allows the tickling of the slime to actually do something. It, it creates vines that go straight up, and uh, it opens up a whole other section of the maps. I've never... I haven't beaten a boss. I think this, I think they said four bosses, but I could be wrong. I know they're still adding stuff to this game, like currently. Oof. When there's an exclamation point above an enemy, that means they're about to attack. And you would think after I just told you that, I'm invincible, right? Oh no, I need to use it to become invincible. I need health badly. I need health badly. Now, like I said, uh, if you guys want to see more of this game, let me know, and I'll do more of it. But I'm only going to do one video on it as of right now, because I do believe this can go on for quite a long time. Now, Scrolls of Power, I do believe... I'm going to go with this, because it has the most health to it. Yeah. Oh. See, there's just something. 
something about this game that I just adore. But we're gonna find out what this does. Okay. Whoops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did that happen? I didn't want that to happen. Whoa! Now I kind of do. Ah! Stop! I win. You lose. I want to find the upgrade boy. Uh, so you guys can see that, because something tells me I'm not going to make it much longer. Oh! There's a scroll coming up. I'm not doing so hot. I always go with the one with the most health attached to it. I'm invincible! Now, uh, blueprints, I do believe you take them to a dude or something. And he can make them for you. Oh, here's some stuff. What do you need? What is this? Quick to use, but not super powerful. Alright, well, thank you for nothing. Oh, here we go! Well, first, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Could I go up over there? I feel like I couldn't go up over there. I'll teleport down there super quick just to see. Yeah, no, I definitely could not go up there. It was the slime. No, I've only made it about a quarter of the way through the second, like, map, I, I guess. I don't know exactly, um, oh yeah, these, like, kill 30 enemies without taking any damage and get here within two minutes. It's like there's things like that. Well, that's what it is. I'm the collector. I'm about the closest thing you'll find to a decent company around here. As a cat. Hello. Bring me cells you gather from the others. In exchange, I'll uh, procure a few useful items for you. Should you stumble upon a blueprint, bring it to me, and I will introduce you to some more experimental items. So, the health flask is really nice. Um, we're actually just gonna go ahead and... Boom, now I have, like, a potion that I have that I can use at any time. And then this one is really nice because when you die, you lose all your gold. You lose everything except for the upgrades. And having the, the gold bag thing is really great. Mutation. Oh, yeah, mutations are really nice. I like necromancy because health is a real problem in this game. Pile of corpses. Funny, they look a little like me. <laughs> oh. HP restored. Nice. Promenade of the Condemned. The charming countryside atmosphere of the forest has given way to a less wholesome ambiance. This game is beautiful. And I will accept no other opinion. This game, uh... I love it. I love the art style. I love, uh... Oh! Well, that's my own fault. For being overzealous. I don't remember any of this. <clears throat> now, does that not look like some type of, like... Retro version of, uh, well, I guess updated version, not retro, of Papyrus. Like, evil Papyrus right there. I love this game. Uh, I wanted to play more of it last night, but then I thought I had a uh, job interview today, but it was rescheduled for Monday. Rare blueprint. Never had one of those before. 
This is my best run, I think, ever. Or I'm right about where I was. I did defeat one um, elite dude. We got a rune, so there's that. Rub. I can rub a statue. I do believe I'm gonna need another rune, sort of like the uh, tickling of the slime. Uh, it just feels good to play a, a, a new game that's refreshing and also not like filled with microtransactions and, and super expensive DLC. All the DLC that I know of that has come out for this game has been free. Which I feel like is the way to go. Oh, these things? Super annoying! Because they, like, make every enemy around it invincible. And it's like... Die. I'm dying. I'm gonna heal. I don't think that has a cooldown. I think that's just the only... Use. Oh. Neat. Well, oh, damn it. All right. Yeah, I wanted to play this uh, a little bit earlier, but this is the only uh, time I had open to do it. Um. <clears throat> I could have got it on Steam and played it that way, but I haven't really been doing a lot with the Switch. That we, we got the Switch for Christmas, I recorded one video, but I guarantee you it hasn't gone up yet. It's another Mario Kart video, because we got uh, Mario Kart Deluxe or whatever. See, it's making them invincible, and it's annoying. You can't eliminate any of the threats around you until that's gone. Sandals, the shoes of my people. I would like to know what's at the end of this game. I, I seem to be doing okay for my. I don't know if this is considered a good first run or an average, or even just like a how could you not be any further. I don't know! I don't know about this game! As much as I would like to, anyway. Okay, up there had a way to go that I didn't. Oh, it looks like there's something safe up here. Different colored things on the map usually mean happy times for me. Yep. Is that it? Yeah. Banner? It's the king's coat of arms. That's one way of dealing with the prison overpopulation problem. A whole lot of prisoners piled up here. Some of them look like they've been here for a very long time. One of them is holding on to something. Um. No, that's pretty bad. I need the gardener's key. Now that I remember. That looks so cool, I want it. But I want it. Electric whip. 
I, definitely the whip. Uh, I feel like a Belmont now. Statue of the King of the Island. I'm gonna have to kill him, aren't I? How could you see anything with that helmet on? I mean, yeah. Tickle, tickle! Cross. The last time it told me to cross, I fought an elite boy and almost died. I think I'm about to get the... Yep. Die, please! I, le I do believe that that lets me tickle the slime. Vine rune, yep. Really wish there was a way to heal. Okay, so this is pretty much as far as I've ever gotten. And this is all new territory to me now. first. better than my whip. I'm just saddening. I really liked my whip. But what are you gonna do? There's a crow up there. Wait, I can climb up there. Oh yeah! Uh, also wall chicken, except enemy drops wall chick not wall chicken. It wouldn't be wall chicken then. Just die already, damn. There we go, everyone's dead. Ugh. I get hurt a lot. That's not what I wanted to happen at all. <sighs> Back already? Seems like you're having a rough time of it. <laughs> no, no, no. Have you noticed how same things change, things seem to change each time you pass through? One could get to think the island is alive. It's quite ridiculous, wouldn't you say? Now, and then you go forward and you go into another run. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it here and let you guys uh, decide whether or not that's something you're interested in seeing. So be sure to check in for the next one because I want to see you there.